why are we doing the sideline test? To confirm, to confirm that Yeah, to confirm the salt bite. Increase the sensitivity and specificity. We're checking the same things, right? The canals are still in line with gravity in the same way, so we're still checking the anterior and posterior canal. It's just a way to confirm it. So we can do it together, or I can just have him do it on his own. Let's do it together for a moment. I'm going to have you turn your head towards me, and on the count of three, we're just going to go down into your left shoulder. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And relax your head back. Good. And so he's now, if you look closely, he's in the same alignment as the baseball pipe. Okay. I wouldn't do this as your first choice to check for a for canal for BPPV, but like I said, it's a way to confirm it. People have very diverse canals. There's many, a lot of variations, so we like to check it in different, different ways. There's no extension component. There's a little bit of extension at the CF, yeah. No extension, his head would be about here. Right? So he has a little bit of extension. The other thing to note, and this is how we modify the big soul height, is you can sit up, that it's not actually cervical extension. It's that's important. What's important is his alignment relative to gravity. So if he has a cervical fusion and we need to check for a dexal pipe, can we still do it? We just have to modify the surface. You can stand up for a moment. So what we do is, um, you know, Trendelenburg position, right? But you want the whole table to be on an angle. We have these in our clinic. We have big red wedges that are on a, about a 30 degree incline like this. So that when the person lays on it with their head down on their back, their feet are up. And so they're already in 30 degrees of extension and they don't need to bring their head back. We do that if someone has neck pain, cervical fusion, any other reason so that we don't actually have to bring them into extension. Okay. So that's how you can modify it. Some people also prop up maybe the bottom safely so that you're on 30 degrees. And his head would be down on that side, right? And his feet would be here. I do this also if people are a little bit um, protective of their neck or they're nervous. We just, it's all relative to gravity, not actually physical extension. Right? Um, does that clarify the sideline test as well? Makes sense? Okay, what do we have next on the lab sheet? CRT is going to be in Dr. Burke's clinic. What do we have in, um, like, Kasani? Let's jump to the barbecue roll, the next one. Okay. And let's, let's go over here to this map. Another volunteer? 